How's everybody doing today? I just wanted to make this video on all the January pickups that I picked up in January. I decided this year I'm going to do, like, instead of doing a whole end year review, I'm going to do all, all the pickups for that month. So y'all can see, basically, I know I'm a month late with this video, but I know the next, I'm, I'm, I know it's about to cut out February. I'm not going to do it just yet because I got one more shoe I got to get. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually coming Monday, which is next to the last day of February, so I just want to make sure I got all my pickups. And as you can see, all these pickups, um, I spent a lot more money than I thought for jewelry, but I made a lot more money at the same time. So, as you can see, a lot of these jewelry, most people, I'm grateful that I, I can make enough money to where so I can cop as many shoes a month. I can tell you people, only do this when you know you're financially set in a good situation. I just know for this, and for the price I got these for, I paid less than most people pay for all these shoes individually. I, I remember these used to go for the price of $500. I don't pay $500 on shoes. Like, so, I'm grateful I got all these shoes. I'm grateful I got all these shoes for a great price. I'm not there yet. So when I'm financially stable, I see a lot of YouTubers, they get every shoe that comes out that month, which is a lot. <laughs> I can say, I see a lot of YouTubers, these high top YouTubers, that actually made a salute to all of them because they, I guess, yeah, they, they in a financial situation. Not even just that. I know they get shoes handed to them and all that other stuff, but in terms of the shoes they get, they, it's, it's just not like an overnight thing. That's the reason why they're in this situation is because they had to work hard to put in the good reviews, the good quality reviews to actually get to a point where they can get free shoes shipped to them. That, that, that's how known they are. So, I don't know why people get offended by that, but it's just a matter of if you was in that situation, they, they would they've been in YouTube for years, like working hard to give quality reviews to people so people can actually watch the videos. I know hopefully, I know I can, not even hopefully, I know I can get to a point like that because in terms of me, I understand the benefit of it, but I'm not going to take advantage of the benefit, but at the same time, I work hard, so, and it's just the money to be made, like anybody can make money, so, I've seen these high YouTubers, they use it to run their businesses and stuff like that now, so, yeah, like, I can just imagine, so people gotta understand, everybody's gonna start from the bottom, so before you work your way to the top, and you make it there, just work hard, but without further ado, I know I'm ranting right now, I just wanted to get into these pickups, I'm sorry if I didn't open these boxes, but I am, these right here, I did a review, these are the Dirty Snow Sockenies, um, the Dirty Snows, um, I like these, even though these are the shadows, are reminiscent to the, the original Sockneys I have. The original Sockneys, the original Dirty Snow colorway that came out last year before that. And these, these, they call these the Sparring with Sockney, but in reality, um, these shoes were actually banned by the USA. Um... I remember actually seeing like collabs with Wale um, with this shoe, this this actual colorway. Um, I don't know if people know about that, but this shoe was actually supposed to be Wale's collaboration. But that ended, um, and then it got banned for some reason. That's why these was only, I guess, Sockney seen it as a yeah great colorway, so they released it in Europe. If the U.S. was gonna ban it. Um, they might as well release it in Europe. So you got this colorway. This is a this is a bad colorway, man. This material on this is like nice. I like this material. I don't know what that is, but and it's quality. I paid a hundred and ten dollars for this shoe. So yeah, I got a, another pair of Sockneys coming on the way too, just to reveal that. I had to pick those up. But yeah, you got your Sockneys right here. Sockneys is a nice brand, you know. I 
like Siamese. They're comfortable. They're just as comfortable as Roshis and Yeezys. Yeezy people pay $700, $800 for a pair of Yeezys, which I don't understand the value in that. I won't pay, I won't be paying $500. Or $700 for that matter for a pair of Yeezys. And if I'm paying $700 for a Jordan, it better be like a PE shoe or like a shoe that I know I can get value for if I sell it. But other than that, yeah. Ain't no way in the world. I'm, I would pay $699, $635 for a pair of Yeezys. That is insane. That's, that's really insane. Um... I can see if it was like jewelry or something like that, but because it I, it has a value to me, and not just that, y'all want to think about getting to a point where you can spend that type of money. Like, I think these shoes were close to a thousand dollars, but I make about four times the amount of that money for the month of January, and that's a huge goal that I accomplished because I work hard. You know, like people can make money. You got to just, I can't tell you the basis of how to make money. This is something that you have to develop on your own. Like, sometimes you got to create your own ideas to make money. And I'm not talking about anything, just to put a quick disclaimer, nothing illegal. You don't want to do none of that. But it's ways you can start your own business to make your own money without having to do illegal things or be a hustler and all that other type of stuff. You want to be in control of your own money. My my question is to you, Do you, would you want somebody else to control the amount of money you make by working a 9-to-5 job, or you want to be in control of how much you make? Only, not everybody is going to do it. Only a few people can. I just so happen to be one of those people because I have that mindset. Most people don't have that mindset. Most people like working a 9 I don't. I don't knock you for working your 9-to-5 job, but... If if it's something you really want to do, shit, do it. But me, I don't want to do that. I, I chose a different route. Yeah. We got the Chicago's. These are the ones from 2010. God damn, the Jumpman already gone already? God damn, I don't know what happened to the Jumpman in that one. This one's about the car. The quality on these ones, I can say... I'm actually looking at the 2017 pair... I actually like the 2017 pair. The quality is good on the 2017 pair because it looks more to the original um, shoe. I know all of them have this tongue with to where those risen up, but the 2017 to me looks more, more truer to the original form, which is cool. But me, I still, I prefer the 2010 pair. So I, 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 I'm fine with the 2010 pair until I wear these out, perhaps. And I'm still going to get another pair of 2010 pair because I just like the shape of the shoe. It looks nice. Like, everybody, y'all trying so hard to get, like, the OG. And the shoe doesn't, it looks artificial. Even though this shoe, they stepped outside the box, maybe the quality is not as good. It looks hard. Like, I like the way the shoe looks in terms of the shape and everything else. I know over time, this midsole started to get oxidation on it. But everything else seems fine. Like, but yeah. Those, you got these right here, your aquas. Right here, your woman's aquas, these beautiful woman's aquas. Got these back, you know. The Bordeaux, I got those back. The Do The Right Thing ones, which I just actually found out they retro this year, retroing this year, so I'm grateful to actually get this one back. Just research the 2009s. If y'all looking to get these and they're re releasing, you probably can get them right now for a great price. I've seen them go for like 160, 180, 200. In that range, if you're looking to get these, this would be the perfect time to because I've seen them for cheap. I, I paid 160 for these from a trusted seller that I know I can actually cop my kicks from. Kind of network people. If y'all want these shoes, like you got to kind of network with people. This is one of the reasons why I get shoes for cheaper prices. A lot of people ask me that. It's because I network. I talk to people. And I do my research before I just go out and buy these shoes. I, I know 
how to authenticate sneakers. May not the new releases. I'm going to have to make this into a two-part video.